Hello everyone, welcome to the third person shooter multiplayer series. In this series, we will learn how to implement app pop in our project. Developing a basic multiplayer game is not a rocket science. It can be developed in as simple as four simple steps. Connect, join and subscribe a room, send message to update other place in the room. Handle message from other players. App Pop Cloud solution is designed so developers don't need to do any server side coding. Isn't that awesome? Features that allow this are Room properties Connection resiliency to persist user state during intermittent connectivity issues Lock and update room properties to arbitrate conflict from the clients and associate custom user data. App Pop is a cloud container for your real time multiplayer games and applications. It sandboxes application based on their API keys. App Pop client side SDKs expose the powerful constructs for the applications user to interact in virtual room and lobbies. It provides APS to perform operations such as joining a room, subscribing for notification, sending chat messages and generic byte arrays to exchange game specific data. All these allow you to easily build real time multiplayer applications such as card games, board games, third person shooter and first person shooter etc. Now let's download our sample project from the link given below. Once you have downloaded the project, you have to implement App Pop Unity SDK. Download the SDK from the link given below. After downloading the SDK, copy it in your project. This project already contains the SDK so you don't have to copy it. Once you have implemented App Pop in your project, you need to create an app in App HQ dashboard. The link to the dashboard is given below. After you have signed in with your register username and password, you will be directed to this page. Under App Manager, select Create Apps and type in all the details. Then click Submit. For more information on App Pop, please refer to the link given below. Thank you for watching.